My name is Alpha and I'm one of the finalists for Miss New Zealand 2023. This video is going to be a little bit more about the Serve, one of the charities I'm supporting alongside Brave, and the learnings that were shared with me over the past few weeks with the work we've been doing together. So um, it's going to be a little bit about more of the scope of what they do, uh, who's helping out currently, how we can help, as individuals and maybe organizations and also where to find them and the challenges some of the challenges that we're facing as a charity at the moment so uh, to start off uh, for those who don't already know the serve is a charity that um, prepares and serves meals for the hungry people uh, free meals uh, on King Street in Frankton from 5 p.m. onwards 365 days a year and they've been doing this for many years without fail um, the scope of what they do I wanted to touch on this because although a lot of people that do know them uh, they're known for serving meals there's a lot of other things that come into play um, that was shared with me when they get to know and spend more time with the regular ones that come along and it goes way beyond just food poverty uh, for example one of the lesser things that were known about the serve is during covid lockdowns they were one of the few charities that were out there on the streets helping the people that had no blankets no clothes nowhere to sleep nothing to eat those who were really ill out in the cold um, no supports and even just a listening ear for those who are going through some uh, quite some heavy challenges um, so although they were the serve for meals they were giving out nappies they were dropping off supplies they were yes giving food clothes blankets all other things for emergencies um, listening to people's uh, challenges it, it just helps just to have someone to listen um, and all of that as well so uh, that sort of ties in really well with the fact that they're purely donations based so no government funding so they really rely on our local community to provide the ingredients and our volunteers so a little more on the scope of the volunteer work as well so the volunteers they can help prepare and cook meals they can also pack and serve meals so this can be every day uh, from 3 p.m. on Wednesdays to help in the kitchen prepare and pack and on other days we can just cook meals from our home and then uh, drop them off where volunteers there at King Street will uh, pack and serve or just serve to the people so uh, some more details will be it's from 5 p.m. onwards those who uh, line up for a free meal and it can sometimes be with some fruit and veggies as well so who's currently helping the serve so uh, I initially thought it was just Kaivolution they're a, a food rescue charity under Go Eco and food rescue charity as in they collect the surplus from groceries that uh, are not sellable but are still edible and instead of going to landfill that prevents waste and we actually um, repurpose it for foods for those who need it. Um, I really thought it was initially just Kaivolution providing um, for the serve but I was really um, it was really cool to hear that there's a handful of businesses that help uh, in terms of um, not just donating money but what was really cool to hear that some businesses actually take time out of their day as a team to make a meal, cook a meal, and drop it off to the serve, to serve for the people. I thought that was really cool. Although it's really good to donate money, it's also different to donate our time and our resources that way, so that was nice. Um, the other day I saw a dish that was prepared by Waikato Dio High School. So they're a high school here in Hamilton that, um, yeah, it was cool to know that there were some students that took time out of their day to uh, make a meal especially for the serve which was awesome uh, yeah 
So um, there's ways that we can help other than money um, and we can donate our time. So that is the scope of the volunteers and who's currently helping. Um, if we want to know more, we can always check out their website and they also have a Facebook page or you can message me as well. Um, the last thing I'll touch on is how we can help. So this can range from if we're an avid garden grower and we have surplus carrots or fruits that we may not use all of it or we've already given some to friends and family and there's still more and we don't know where to drop it off, we can drop it off to the serve. I've also posted on my Instagram and Facebook other places in the community that um, we can go to to drop off food and also ask for food parcels. So that way we're circulating the surplus food instead of it just rotting and maybe going to landfill. Um, yeah, so other things is maybe if we're an avid baker or we like to trial other ex uh, experiment with cooking and there's surplus that friends and family don't want or we want to donate it to people in need, we can drop it off to the serve as well, alongside the other places. And uh, yeah, other than that, if we want to have a look at being a volunteer, um, the serve is always looking for volunteers. Some of the volunteers are on roster, but it doesn't have to be a full commitment as well, because uh, just like how a little bit of donation money to charity goes a long way, even an afternoon here and there, if we're free one afternoon or a couple or in the weekend, it still goes a long way if we want to spend time to cook, pack, uh, or serve, or all three, or, and more. Um, yeah, or if we just have any surplus that, you know, uh, we want to put towards a good cause that we won't otherwise use. So that's it for now in this video. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen. Really appreciate it. Um, I'll definitely be highlighting more things about the serve, what we're doing, and maybe some other challenges that we're facing. Um, but I'll make that in another video. For example, um, the stigma around poverty. That was one thing that was shared with me from the serve. Is um, It's quite a tricky thing to um, go out there and ask for help because there is some shame in that, that the serve has heard and um, has seen, uh, which is a shame um, because it's brought along by the stigma we place on people that um, we put a label on as homeless or those who are struggling and or poor. Um, I guess to put it short, there's so much more to a person than the surface that we see, than the social narratives that we hear, and we only really know unless we're in their shoes. Um, so it's quick to judge, but it's it's also free to be kind and extend our understanding and compassion. But more on that in another video. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen and yeah, I'll check in with you all soon and take care.